Welcome to Global View. I'm Ralph Begleiter in Washington. South Africa is on the brink of a revolution poised for its first free and fair election. Throughout the worst years of South African apartheid, there were many, many black voices of protest, but there was only one white voice against apartheid within South Africa's government. It was the voice of Helen Sussman, a member of the South African parliament, who persisted in exposing the legal and moral vacuum of apartheid. These were the worst days in South Africa. Government troops treating black South Africans as less than human. The Sharpville massacre, 69 blacks killed, almost 200 injured for protesting apartheid's repressive pass laws, which prevented their freedom of movement. The riots in Soweto, one of the so-called townships just outside Johannesburg, into which uprooted blacks were forcibly moved by the apartheid government. The racist separation of facilities, jobs of every aspect of life, a vulgar apartheid nurtured with Nazi Germany's backwash in South Africa, later masterminded into the grand apartheid of Prime Minister Hendrik Verwerd, systematically built into law by Prime Minister John Vorster through the 60s and 70s. Always opposed by black activists outside the government and outside South Africa. The Africans, the prior, want the franchise on the basis of one man, one vote. The government jailed as many as the prisons could hold while consolidating apartheid into the 1980s under P.W. Botha. All of this was sanctioned, engineered, written into law by South Africa's apartheid parliament from which blacks were excluded, except for one representative, a white parliamentarian who fought apartheid for 36 years. The killing must and the Whole generations of white South Africans left the country and let other people fight the battles. She stayed and fought the battle. Helen Sussman, South Africa's only opposition member of parliament for more than a decade. It's like being the only uh, uh, non-male in a, in a football locker room, in a way, to be in that South African parliament in those years from 53 to 89. <laughs> Until the chains were loosened in 1989 and the structure of apartheid began being dismantled by F.W. de Klerk. And born as son of friend. Leaving South Africans with choices about their future. White domination must come to an end. But it must not be exchanged with another form of racial domination or black domination over a white minority. <laughs> Right-wing whites are still seeking separation and preparing for war after South Africa's elections. We are heading for a revolution. As South Africa pauses on the brink of a new era, anti-apartheid parliamentarian Helen Sussman, now retired, watches from the sidelines, having secured her place in the history of the apartheid years. Here's an example of Helen Sussman's achievement in South Africa. She would take advantage of her position in Parliament to visit blacks in prison and in the places the government forced them to live. She'd return to Parliament and give detailed speeches describing conditions in the townships and the prisons. These were details the news media couldn't publish. The apartheid government forbade it. But South Africa's media were allowed to write about anything said in Parliament. So the grim facts of apartheid became public worldwide. In a moment, we'll meet Helen Sussman, now 76, still living in South Africa, serving as an observer of the upcoming election. Stay with us on Global View.